guys welcome to my channel today we're going to be unboxing our brazilian flame uh rotisserie grill This looks like it's the top cover to the grill, which we'll put that together once we get the actual main unit out. Um, this is a lid, which we'll get to that in a moment. This is um, a rotisserie grill we bought so that we can have our Brazilian steakhouse meals at home. And I am super excited. The only thing that I will need to purchase after this is a um, propane tank. So, it is possible that I could need your assistance, son, but let's see here. Should never turn it back to the camera, folks, but that's okay. to be the door. Um, you've got your propane connectors here. Which is actually in the back. Then we have our way down here at the bottom. So we are going to cut recording for a moment and come back once we get um, it assembled. So we have it mostly assembled. We have our skewers inside. Um, this is our propane tank connector, um, but since we don't have the propane tank right now, uh, we're going to hold off on installing that. Uh, this is an AC adapter, which I am pretty sure is to rotate the actual skewers inside. Up here we have a heating tray uh, that easily just plops, plops, technical term, sits down inside, and this would be your lid to cover. And you can use this for vegetables or to keep something warm. Um, and inside here, we also have what many would call a drip tray. Um, so that as your meat or other items that you are cooking uh, drains its fat, it will collect down here for easy cleanup. And as you see, it comes with four flat skewers and then you have your um, multi-pronged skewer in the middle. And that's just how we've assembled it. And we are very excited. Uh, the door doesn't have a spring, but maybe um, a little bit of a magnet to keep everything secure. And this is a new crib. Thanks guys. I wanted to mention before we wrap the video up um, over here along the side you'll see that you have your plug um, your adapter cord for that makes the skewers rotate 
and then here in the front, I just wanted to point out a few things that we have. Um, here at the top, you have your digital temp and time. Um, here's your on and off switch. Um, and these two knobs control both the top and bottom burners, again, that you will see on the inside of the unit in the back, which keeps the food hot and cooks while it rotates on the skewers. So our next video, we're gonna have it fully assembled and we are going to give it a test run with some chicken, picanha, and other fun things. Thanks again, guys.